I was skeptical. I was really skeptical about him. I was really hesitant to try him, and it, it really took uh, me being really extremely depressed to the point where I couldn't do anything. I I couldn't. I didn't enjoy food anymore. I didn't enjoy sex anymore. I didn't enjoy walking out anymore. I didn't enjoy anything anymore. And I had even a hard time taking care of my rats, who are like the, the joy of my life. And they're like, uh, you know, they're s such great pets. But uh, I, 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 I didn't feel. I didn't. I didn't felt like like spending time with them anymore. And. Um, it was at this point that I really, yeah, I really reached for help. I went to a doctor and, uh, uh, yeah, I was diagnosed really quick with major depression disorder. And then I, I read about it and it explained a lot of what I had been uh, experiencing in the past 20, 25 years. And... Um, yeah, um, I was very dubious, you know, but I'll try anything once. So I decided to try him, and the uh, the experience that I had with him, uh, well, it's, it's pretty great. Uh, it was not great at first. One thing that a lot of people don't realize with antidepressant or don't know about is that they're really hit or miss, and... Uh, you know, you gotta trial and error them before you find the right one because different antidepressants will have different effects on different people. So uh, it's always hard finding the right one. There are some of them that are more tolerated by more people, but you never know how your, go your body is going to react to them. So uh, you have to, to struggle uh, uh, at first to find one. I mean, I guess some people are lucky and find the right one on the first try, but usually it takes a few months before you find the one that is made for you. But I was really afraid, you know, that it would change me, that it would make me different, that it would, you know, make me artificially happy. And they would make me think differently, that my opinions were going to change on stuff or what. And it's kind of the opposite, actually. The effect is really underwhelming. You don't really feel the effects of the antidepressants. It's really subtle. Even at, at high doses, like I am now, it's... Focus. It's, um... It's really subtle, yeah. Um... And, uh, yeah, at first it, it didn't really work for me, uh, not because of the, uh, the antidepressants themselves. They might really, when I started taking, uh, sertraline, that was the first one, it worked extremely well on my depression, but I had to stop because the side effects were like overwhelming. I have too, really too many side effects. And uh, it, it fucked up my, my gut, and um, I, you know, I had a, a very common side effect that you have with antidepressants is uh, blurry vision, because you cannot focus, your eyes cannot focus, it's really difficult to focus, and so I, c I couldn't read, I couldn't uh, do a lot of things that I do uh, usually um, every day, and it made me, um, like... It, it, it didn't really, it made me too, like, relaxed. I didn't give a shit about anything. I, I stayed in bed all day because, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it worked on some aspects of the depression, but not all of it. So next I was put on fluoxetine, also known as Prozac, which is like a lighter one. And this one really didn't work with me. I had a lot of uh, nausea. And I was really, uh, it made my emotions really sharp, you know, it was, uh, it was awful. When uh, my neighbors made a noise, it, it, you know, it made me angry or aggravated or, you know, I was really irritable. And uh, at some point, one of my rats had a, an issue, so I had to uh, take him to the vet. And uh, I was really stressed, I was so stressed that I puked in the street. And I was really, uh, I, I was really, you know... Uh, every time there was something, I, I felt it like tenfold, and uh, 
it was it was pretty shameful. It was uh, I, I was not really a man anymore. I was kind of a, like a, a caveman or an, or an ape. It was yeah, it was pretty shameful. So uh, I, I had to stop this. And after that, uh, my doctor put me on mirtazapine, which uh, which worked really well, like really really well, uh, with minimal side effects. And after that, he added venlafaxine. And then basically all the side effects were gone and the effect was like increased. So uh, update on that situation. Uh, it has changed. Now I'm on 90 milligrams of duloxetine plus 15 milligrams of uh, mirtazapine plus 160 milligrams of propranolol. It's a great combo that works even better than uh, the combo I was on before. Yeah, it's it's really great because I was so afraid that it would change me and quite the opposite, it has kind of made me more like myself. Like I'm more um I'm more who I am and who I kind of always was because some stuff um the depression changes how you process information and how you express yourself and um, it, some stuff you know that you think is maybe your personality you know the all the things that is why am i like this and why do i think that i, I it's it, it, you know you know all the things that you surprise yourself doing and uh, that you don't really know why because that's a lot of what happens in depression you feel like you're not the pilot in your own life you know you feel like you're not the main character in your own story really uh, there's a lot of, of things that you can observe yourself doing and you're why am i doing this what what what's what's the point of this why am i talking like this why am i doing this thing why am i you know, and yeah, yeah, it feels like you're uh, you're riding on the passenger seat uh, on your on the car of your life, and the, your the pilot is like you know, well, depression, I guess, and um, uh, it, it's it's a lot of you know, you sometimes you don't really recognize yourself, and it's that's what makes it really hard to like find yourself, because um, because um, you don't really know when things are really you or not. And uh, when you don't know that it's because of depression, it, it can be distressing, like really distressing. Like you, you do things and you don't know why. And you can kind of observe yourself doing those things and saying those things. And you're like, why? Why am I like this? And um, so uh, with the antidepressants, you're more yourself. All you do, you know why. All you think, all you say, you, you know why it's, you know, you say what you want to say, not stuff that it comes out of your mouth for God knows what reason. And um, that is great, you know. There's so many, so much stuff that, that I am learning about myself thanks to the antidepressants. I'm really learning, like, who I am uh, more than I could ever in my life. You know, it's like, I hate dancing. You know, and is that really me or is that depression? Yeah, that's really me. I hate being alone. Is that really me or is that depression? No, that's not. That's just depression. I, I don't hate being alone anymore now. Uh, and it's I never really hated being alone. It was more like I was afraid because I, I knew that when I was alone, depression was harder to deal with and having a presence makes it often easier, although not always. Sometimes having a presence makes it worse. Uh, it's, it's complicated, but you know, you have this, this stress, this anxiety that things might go wrong if you're alone. So you always want to, uh, to have someone near you. I mean, that's how it wor worked for me at least. And uh, now that I am on an, an, an antidepressants, I, I don't really give a shit anymore about being alone. Uh, and you know, like, I, I hate superheroes, super comics and superhero movies. Is that really me or is that depression? Yeah, that's really me. That's really my personality. I, I, I hate like Beyonce. Yeah, that's really me. I hate eating vegetables. That's just depression. I love vegetables now. I, I eat them every day. 
And before, it was like comfort food, comfort food, comfort food, because I was constantly uncomfortable. And so I kept eating, you know, just cake and, and steak and potatoes all the time. And if I didn't have my rotisserie chicken on the Sunday, uh, uh, it made me feel bad. And now uh, I can eat what I want. I can eat what I really want. And I know that I, I'm not going to feel bad uh, because of it. And I'm going to enjoy any food that I like. And that's great, you know. So uh, there's a lot of stuff like, like that, that, that antidepressants uh, changed for me. And that's that is so great. That is so great. I'm really grateful uh, for having been put on them by my, my, my doctor. And um, yeah, uh, it, it hasn't changed my personality at all, really. Um, I have the same tastes in music, I have the same political opinions, etc, etc. I have the same sense of humor, you know, it's, I, I'm still myself and I'm even more myself than before, which is awesome. I love this. One of the best surprises I had when I started antidepressants uh, was my, my memory that started coming back. When I was depressed all these years, I had so many memory issues. Uh, I kept forgetting things, and especially old things, you know. Uh, like my, my childhood was basically gone and uh, a lot of old memories ha had vanished from my head and I, I had issues learning new things more and more year after year. Uh, when I started taking antidepressants, not only did my memory came back and with that my ability to learn new things without it being a huge struggle, but also uh, uh, my old memories came back also. They were not deleted from my brain, I just could not access them. But now I remember many, many more things that happened to me in the past. And that is, yeah, that is a great surprise. I absolutely did not expect that. And uh, it's it's pretty awesome to... to the, the human brain is, is it's crazy, man. And um, yeah, uh, my my memories were blocked, and now they're unblocked. And <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, perhaps the most frequent side effect that I've had is dry mouth. You know, and uh, you gotta you gotta be uh, mindful of that. Uh, people who have taken Molly, or uh, as it was known when I was young, ecstasy, know that effect very well. Your mouth feels dry, but you're not really thirsty. Uh, you know, or people who take shitloads of um, anti-inflammatory medicine like aspirin or ibuprofen or stronger stuff know that effect very well. Uh, it's uh, really, your mouth is dry, but you're not really thirsty, so you shouldn't drink too much despite the fact that your mouth is dry uh, so you don't piss out your electrolytes you know of course if you have any questions if you have comments if you have things that you want to know or maybe even advice uh, in the description you go in the description in comments uh, you go and and uh, you know you can ask questions you can comment anything that you want and uh, I, have, I am not going to therapy at the moment, and I know that when you have mental health problems, mental illness, uh, it's good to have therapy, it's good to uh, have meds, and it's best to have both, you know. It's exactly like you when you want to lose weight. It's, it's good to have a diet, it's good to exercise, but if you really want results, you do both at the same time. But, you know, I really want to get comfortable uh, with the antidepressants because uh, even if I have found the right ones there's still uh, about the dosage uh, I'm still you know trying to up go up with the dosage and then go down and, and try to really want I, I want to see what really works best for me at the moment I'm on 15 milligrams uh, mirotazepine and 150 milligrams of venlafaxine per day and it works quite well. I don't have insomnia anymore, I don't have any anxiety anymore uh, and the depression is kept in check really well and uh, physical symptoms are next to none. 
uh, which which is great because I had so many physical symptoms: chronic diarrhea, joint pain, back pain, uh, sinusitis, you know, inflammation of the sinus. Uh, I had uh, gum uh, issues. I had uh, dry skin, you know, and and that was just depression. And uh, my my mental health is yeah it's, it it is much better it's not perfect far from it but it is manageable it is fine you know it is it is okay now I'm 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 feeling really okay and uh, it's kind of like you're in a car and the depression uh, is like obstacles and you know trees falling on the road and and the the um, the meds. They remove the trees, uh, but you still have to drive the car to to go to to you know whatever happiness I guess, and uh, it, it's not magical happy pills you know. Basically, that's it. That's it. That's uh, that's all I have to say. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks to all my patrons and Patreon who help make this show possible. Your support is greatly appreciated. And to all of you, see ya really soon. Peace.